Hello, welcome back to Max's Mean Machines. We're out here at the boat dock with uh, Maximilian's Talon. And as you can see, the boat looks transformed from how it was originally. So uh, obviously he had the decking done and uh, all new uh, hinges, resistance hinges, trolling motor, all the wiring's been redone, new uh, Suzuki SS250 performance engine, had a seat made, all new uh, pumps in it, um, lighting in every cabin, in every hatch now, uh, underwater lighting, and um, the, the wiring he had done is, uh, is phenomenal. I mean, it's done really neatly. We'll do a video of the uh, inside there at some point. And uh, we're just gonna take it out and uh, see what kind of speeds we're running now. And, um, you know, not known for the uh, highest performance motors. We brought this motor basically because they have a reputation of being the most reliable. And uh, seeing that uh, we'll probably not run this boat much more than 60 miles an hour that often anyway. Um, you know, speed wasn't our biggest feature in buying a motor. But uh, anyway, as you can see, it's really starting to look really nice. He uh, had a lot of changes made to the center console and uh, everything's upgraded. And uh, he's even got cup holders, which are double as uh, rod holders. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. So we'll see how it goes today. So my uh, daughter Samantha made this back seat here. So that uh, is so much different, having a proper back seat hold you in, especially in a fast boat like this. So uh, it'll be nice having a proper seat in here. Now you might notice we got the name prototype there. And we, we noticed uh, when restoring the boat, it seemed like that name was used in a couple of places. And uh, seeing that this boat turned out to be the first Talon F20 ever built, um, we're assuming that is what uh, Talon called it originally. So uh, Max has uh, kept the name Prototype. So uh, that's kind of cool. And it is, uh, you know, it's very cool that this is kind of the first one ever built. So uh, it gives it a little bit of a rarity factor and these boats are fairly rare as it is. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. What you got up there, that's funny. Uh, here's our chart plotter and depth finder, fish finder. Nice. And then uh, this tells you a lot of different things. Uh, kind of get to see what we can top it out today at top speed. And uh, see if we've got it propped right. We've taken it out several times. Um, but we've always had a heavy load with lots of fishing gear or a lot of people. So we're just going to try it with the two of us today. And uh, hopefully we hit into the 70s. And uh, we're in the right RPM range. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like uh, perfect conditions for doing a couple of speed runs. So uh, hopefully we're up near the 70 mark. Um, you know, we're a brand new motor and everything, but, uh, but we'll see. Are you ready? Okie then. So we're running a Scorpion 28 times 15.1 prop and uh, as you can tell it's running really really smooth I mean the uh, the Suzuki motor is a really smooth motor and um, you'll see you know the sounds not great so I'm going to uh, talk over a little bit so uh, we get up to 65.5 at about 5600 rpm but I feel we're over trimming it a little bit to get that. Although we've been told that if your speed increases, um, it you know you're not over trimming. So I I don't know. Anyway, um, it still looks like we're a little bit uh, under propped. Um, so I think we want to keep the pitch, but at the end of the day, we might want to go down in diameter a little bit. Anyway, um, enjoy the video and you'll see how we kind of uh, came to that conclusion. But uh, we're loving the motor and the smoothness of it. Yeah, but the other prop. I think I got the 
Looks really solid, I mean that's really nice. So it looks like we have to have a 61 then. But I, I didn't look up the RPM. Where is the RPM? Um, we're leaving about 700 RPM on the table and uh, that's at 75% uh, trip so um, Maximilian is going to speak to the guys at uh, Prop Gods I think it is and uh, maybe Lewis about Sharp Post Moon um, because I think he's got a few props he wants uh, us to try some uh, newfangled props which uh, out. So um, you might go ahead and do that. Now you got to remember that the, this boat is quite a lot heavier than it was when we got it because he's running a huge battery and a trolling motor which is mounted on the Got double batteries uh, under the centre console there. And um, so it's not a particularly light boat but uh, you know, we're running 65, which is uh, pretty damn good. I think we're going to pick up probably five miles an hour. So we'll probably get to the 70 mile an hour range, which is where he wants to be. I think there might be a thousand RPM off. In the intercoastal, where it's always a little bit choppy, and you know, maybe out in the Gulf when you just go a few miles out of this, um, with a boat which is only 21 foot long. You really don't want to be going any faster than that, and uh, most of the time you're going to be going a lot slower. So uh, at the end of the day, if the Suzuki turns out to be a really reliable engine, and as smooth as it is, um, if it's a 70 mile an hour boat, and uh, it's a family fishing boat, um, that's more than great. If we lived on a lake which was like glass, I really wanted to max out this boat's performance. You know, we probably would have uh, gone a slightly different route with the engine. But as it is, um, I think this is set up pretty nice for what Maximilian wanted uh, for the ship. Right, so it seems like when we have the boat uh, trimmed to where we'd expect it to be at its optimum, we're only running about 50 on the RPM. At about 61, 60, yeah, about 61 miles an hour. definitely quite impressive how stable this boat is. Um, 
you know, it's a little bit uh, windy out there, and uh, you know, it's just a really stable hole, and fishing off of it is unbelievable. So, uh, really love the boat. So as you can see, we're maxing out at about 65.2.4 and um, you know, that's a little bit slower than we want to be but it looks like we've got some room there um, as we've got about 700 RPM to go. I think we'd still do a lot better with a, a pitch or two lower. And it likes the motor low how it is right now. That's what you got zero in. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, 65 in a small boat. You know, I'm guessing the windshield which we've put on, which Maximilian's put on, is uh, it, it's possibly slowing us down a fair bit as well. I, I don't know how much, but uh, it wouldn't amaze me if a windscreen slows you down two or three miles an hour. Okay, so we're back out in the Talon with a different prop. So the prop we were running with earlier was a 28 Scorpion. And without over trimming the motor, I think we were getting about 5,200 RPM and about 64, 65 miles an hour. So now we're trying the Suzuki 27, no 26. Uh, no, it is 27. Oh, this is a, a 27? It is a 27. Okay, so oh, now, we're, now we're trying the Suzuki 27, which we probably actually want to go with probably a 26. But uh, we seem to remember that when we kind of semi-tried this out, we were running uh, faster, easier. So we're going to see what our RPM is without over trimming it and what our speed is. And then we, when we talk to somebody who knows a lot more about boats and props than we do, those uh, numbers... Um, might help us dial in our prop but uh, basically we want to go down in pitch until we get to our designated RPM which yeah, is we don't need to be uh, topped out over 6200 RPM probably keep it refined a little bit in the high 5000s yeah they say so that you can rev it motor. they say you can rev it to 6300 but like Maximilian says we don't want to be revving the bollocks off of it but we do need to get somewhere up there because that also puts less stress on your motor when you're running, you know, in the 5,000 RPM range. So um, in order to prop it correctly, we almost need to be able to see 6,200, like a little bit over trimmed and stuff. But uh, anyway, we'll see how we do with this prop. And you know, as everybody knows, every prop design makes a difference as well bow lifting props, stern lifting props, it hasn't got a big cup on it. So it's, it's very hard um, to know exactly what prop to get. You almost have to find somebody who's got a similar boat and uh, similar power and see what they're running. And similar weight. Um, yeah, so kind of geared the boat more towards a family fishing boat where a lot of people would strip it as much as they can and make it as light as they can um, to get every mile per hour they can out of it. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't know if you could hear what Maximilian was saying there, but to, you know, a lot of people have these boats like as light as possible to run fast. Um, whereas he's got every fishing doodad on this and trolling motor and double batteries and everything else you can imagine. So this is quite heavy as far as talons go, which uh, does make quite a big difference. And uh, also, Suzuki does not really do a very broad range of props. Although we discovered this morning that that the spline's the same as our G2 uh, Evan roots. So uh, um, that's I kind of interesting. I talked to Lewis over at Shark Coast uh, just before we left, and uh, he said Suzuki did send them some kind of like prototype props um, or new releases, and uh, he's interested in having those uh, tried out on this boat to see how they do. Um, he hasn't really had a the right boat to try them out, but I think he said. We had a, a 27 pitch um, sport type Suzuki prop that we could try out on this boat, maybe even a 26. So we might try those out too before we uh, downsize the Scorpion or decide what we're doing next. Uh, that sounds cool. So that's uh, Lewis from Shark Coast yeah. Marine. Yeah, I was talking yeah. real nice guy to uh, deal with. He's the one we brought the motor off of and uh, his whole family is really nice to deal with. Anyway, so it seems like he's given us a couple of options there to try out some other props. And uh, all you can do is uh, try out different props and uh, see how it goes. Um, you want to say I'm um, empty yet? pitch Suzuki prop was that it basically maxed out at about 50, 50, 50, 58, 5800 rpm and that, and that was a, a bit of a wind to our back so you know, basically no wind probably 57, 57 rpm so uh, it doesn't seem like we want to go down in pitch size it seems like we want to somehow keep pitch size at like 28 or something, but try and find out. Right, yes, so, so, so it is dependent on the prop, so we kind of need a, a higher performance prop, maybe not as big as diameter as the Scorpion is, the Scorpion is 15.1 diameter, if we could get a 28 inch prop, which was maybe a 14 inch diameter, 
but we'd also uh, increase our speed. Anyway, that's what we're thinking. Hopefully you enjoyed this video of us trying to dial in our prop. I uh, don't think we were too impressed with the Suzuki prop, just too slow. And we're going to try some other things out and uh, see how we go with that. And uh, you guys have a great week and uh, hopefully you enjoy watching our videos. And uh, please subscribe.